The CRI is a group of really diverse experts who are passionate about rivers and we're really focused on understanding or making sure that they're healthy and sustainable for future generations. The CRI is unique because it emphasizes applying their research to real management issues and getting input from stakeholder groups and the community. And also they really take um, the value of students and training students to be the next generation of water experts. Water is probably the most crucial environmental issue facing us as a society uh, in the 21st century and rivers are crucially important to understanding water dynamics more generally and dealing with the issues of how we're going to overcome the problems that we have. So some of the issues that are facing our rivers today are related to how we use our rivers, how we use the water in the river, and how we use the rivers as the places where we tend to deposit our waste. Well, I think right now the greatest challenge is this tug of war that's going on between all the groups like the industries, the agriculture, the municipalities that want to use the water and making sure that there's enough water in our rivers so that the fish and the other aquatic life are sustained. So we're trying to help the people making those decisions to do the right thing in terms of our best understanding of how rivers work today. As the Institute gets more and more involved with the public discourse, the public debate, there are many ways that the public can engage with CRI in addressing uh, these fundamental issues. If you're a student, you can look for positions working with science directors within the CRI. If you're a faculty member, you might be interested in collaborating or joining the CRI. And if you're a member of the public, you can attend events where CRI members are, are speaking or giving presentations, reading um, the reports and things that CRI develops, and looking for information on water resource issues on the website. There's a growing awareness amongst the public of the issues that our rivers are facing today and there's opportunities for them to be involved in any number of community groups that are out there but even as individuals they can participate in conversations, they can engage their local regulators, they can engage their local community groups to find ways to be involved, to do something on the river, to do things that are of interest to them on our various rivers.